All right. Tank Davis breaks the attendance record at the Barclays Center. A boxing event breaks the attendance record at the Barclays Center for all the events that they have had as far as the attendance goes. Now, one thing's for sure about Javante Tank Davis, and I've said this before, Tank Davis is the most exciting fighter in boxing. Yes, of course, there are other fighters that are charismatic, that are exciting, but I'm talking about from a standard level, casual standpoint, Tank Davis is that guy, whether you like it or not, whether you like PBC or not, whether you like Mayweather or not, whether you want to give him credit or not, it does not matter. Nobody has been able to stop the rising of Javante Tank Davis star power. Everybody else has tried to, to stagnate it, has tried to say something about it. People have been even clout chasing his name from Ryan Garcia to Vasily Lomachenko. It's a reason why they call out somebody like Javante Tank Davis, even though everybody claimed he's so unaccomplished, he so hasn't done this, and he so hasn't fought anybody. You want to know why Tank Davis and his level of opposition is no longer on the table for a discussion? Because if the boxing world and boxing critics and haters criticize Ryan Garcia, even a half of what they tried to give to Javante Tank Davis, maybe you wouldn't get Ryan Garcia pulling out of all of these fights that he seemed to magically do and magically get an injury and then they magically schedule a boxing match where guys already got opponents picked out. Now, maybe that kind of stuff wouldn't happen, okay? But since you guys are so biased and lopsided, that, that discussion as far as his level of opposition is no longer on the table, at least for me. Because in all honesty, I can't argue with you. But at the same time, you got to be able to recognize when he has stepped up. Now, just because some of the people he may have fought doesn't have the casual big name in lights uh, attraction name. You guys seem to think that he hasn't stepped up. You know, when anybody who knows boxing will tell you that Mario Barrios was a step up and his last several other opponents. But you wouldn't know that. People also talk about how they recognize maturity in the ring with Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis has been maturing, I would say, uh, in his last four fights, but definitely in his last three. He has been maturing as far as skill set, uh, being patient, being able to set people up, waiting things out and stuff like that. You can see it and it shows. But back when it comes to Tank Davis, I said this a while ago, there's just something about Tank that nobody else has. Tank is the only boxer that calls out the celebrities. The celebrities come out heavy to support Tank. Celebrities love Tank. You can blame it on whatever you could say, whatever it is, but for some reason, there's something about Javante Tank Davis that brings out the celebrities, okay? You haven't seen that many celebrities coming out to boxing fights. You haven't seen that with Canelo Alvarez. You haven't, you haven't seen that with Anthony Joshua. The only time you have seen something like this in a boxer able to command that many celebrities coming out has been Floyd Mayweather, and that's the truth, which leads us back to Javante Davis re-signing with um, Mayweather promotions and whatever and whatnot. It was never going to be anything different. Like I said in my video, he has the best promotional team in the game. And you can't deny that. Matter of fact, Javante Davis even came out and said, I have the best team in the game. I uh, can't care give reasons to what started uh, your desire to leave. I didn't say I'm leaving. I said my contract was up. So there's still a possibility that you may be signed. Yeah. I, I feel, again, I still feel as though I got the best team in boxing as far as Mayweather Promotion, Al Heyman, my personal team. I feel like I got the best team in boxing, and, I'm, and I really mean it. So um, I feel as though whatever decision we make after this is, is I'm all for it because I feel as though we, we come up with the best plan um, as planning together as a team. And, you know what I mean? And, and we, we uh, execute our game plan. He said that. Like I said, his problems is personal with Floyd, but he was never going, even if he departed from Floyd, he was never going to depart from PBC. Okay, never. That's not going to happen. And they wasn't going to let somebody like him go. And they've done a good job with uh, Javante Tank Davis. And as far as people say, well, he hasn't fought nobody. He has a look at where he's got, quote unquote, so-called not fighting nobody. 
that's how you know that you can tip, you know what I'm saying, his team. Look, they even got us to pay attention to the fight that, they got us to pay attention to a fight that we know was bullshit. We knew Tank versus Roly was bullshit, but we were still interested. We still wanted to see it. We still paid for it. You know what I'm saying? And we knew that. And we still paid for it. Because at the end of the day, Tank Davis have what Mike Tyson used to have. You just want to see him do his thing. It's a fact. You just want to see Tank go in there and be Tank. You just want to see Tank go in there and knock somebody out because you know you're going to get it. You know that you're going to get that with Tank. And that's something that Mike Tyson used to have. Nobody else has the pulling in this and his power to, to command the attention of so many celebrities like Javante Tank Davis. Say what you want. But whatever you say, no matter how negative, it has not been able to stop his rise to the top. And you cannot deny the kid's star power. Not even a little bit. People want to, but you can't. And like I said, Tank is the only fighter that I will be this way with. Why? Because I just like seeing Tank do his thing. I just like Tank. You know what I'm saying? I don't give that leeway to um, Terrence Bud Crawford, but I give it to Tank. Why? Because it's something about Tank. I just want to see Tank be Tank. And I don't want to hear about all the, all what he needs to do this and he needs to do that because you know what? A lot of these fans just want to see Canelo be Canelo. They don't care who he fights. And we're supposed to be okay with that. We're supposed to accept that. And if we say anything, we're haters, aren't we? So what makes you think I can't call you the same thing if you open your lips and say one thing, one iota about Tank Davis? Wouldn't that make you the same thing? But we all know that y'all don't keep the same energy on nothing. On nothing. Especially when it comes to any black boxing. Y'all definitely don't keep the same energy whatsoever because it's not a you know what I'm saying? Because it's not about no boxing shit. You know what I'm saying? And we all know that at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, you can't stop what we do. And you can't stop what Tank is doing. You know what I'm saying? Give the man his damn credit. Okay? Because he's attractive in a way your favorite fighter is not. Oh. And while I add it, let me point this out to all the Errol Sprints fans. Tank Davis has every right to be talking to I'm the big fish, you got to chase me, I'm the man, I'm this, this, that, and the third, bow down to me, blah, blah, blah. He has every bit of right to be able to say that. But notice, Tank does not talk like that. Tank doesn't say how big he is, how people need to bow down. He does say that I'm the man in the division and I'm trying to be the man of the sport. But when they asked him who's next, he said, man, whoever they put in front of me, whoever my team say, blase, split, this, 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 that. But he ain't going around talking about, yo, I'm bigger than this guy and this guy. Y'all got to come and kiss my feet and this and that. Tank, Tank don't talk like that. And Tank got every right to talk like that because he's definitely a bigger star than Errol Spence. You know, casually, he's a bigger star. And casually, he's a bigger star than Terrence Bud Crawford, too. If y'all want me to throw that in there to make y'all feel better, yes, that is true, too. You know what I'm saying? But notice, he doesn't talk like that. And he has every right to talk like that, but he doesn't do it. Um, Tank Davis is definitely a star. Uh, there's nobody like him in boxing. Whatever aura he has around him, nobody else has it. You, you have to admit that. And that, and at the end of the day, I just don't see what there is not to like about Tank Davis. Honestly, I just don't. Tank don't talk a whole lot of shit. Tank, Tank for the most part is a humble cat. You know what I'm saying? He's learning. He's maturing. You know what I'm saying? He pleases the crowd. He gives you a plow. He he gives you a crowd pleasing fight. I just don't get what is not to like about Tank other than. Oh, yo, I want to see him step up in competition. I want to see him step up and fight this. I want to see him step up and fight that. If you're one of those people who say that, then yes, you have a ground to stand on. And yes, you do have a point. And, and I can't knock nothing that you say. Because you know what? I feel the same way. But then again, 
if they went on and keep doing whatever it is, what they're doing, as much as I thought I wouldn't like it, in the end, I always end up liking it. I always end up entertained. I never end up dissatisfied. You know what I'm saying? As much as I might want to criticize, as much as I might want to say this, as much as I might want to say that, at the end of the day, tell me we wasn't looking forward to Roly, uh, Roly versus Tank. And that was supposed to be a garbage fight, but we were still locked in. So the matchmakers over there at PBC, they, they, they know something. You know what I'm saying? They're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? And until Tank go out here and fall flat on his face and and and, and fails to get the attention and, 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 and get the celebrities talking about him, nobody can say that they're doing anything wrong over there. That's just my opinion. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Bang. I'm out.